evening we're going to walk around number 11 New Lees Gardens um, just showing you the view up the cul-de-sac here so um, very quiet little cul-de-sac on the edge of Tetbury um, but only about a five minute brisk walk to get into the centre of the town which is a really good location actually and uh, come here we've got driveway with space for two cars if I've been a little bit more careful with how I park mine but also uh, plenty of space for on-street parking as well if you've got people visiting. Um, we have this little patch of lawn here with the um, hedges next to it and, and a double garage um, could park in there. We use that actually for storage and when we were doing the renovations we put all of our uh, sort of tools and workshop stuff in there as well. Um, quite a lot of space with double garage. A um, little bit of a front garden here and then we'll go straight through. Um, so coming through into the hallway, um, say hello to the cat. Um, so in the in the hallway and in the lounge we have uh, solid oak flooring uh, which we uh, put in in the last couple of years. I'm um, going to the lounge to start off with. So here's the lounge. Um, in the lounge, uh, main features we've got a Cotswold stone fireplace which again is new within the last what, 18 months, two years with a a gas stove um, which is great for some instant heat in the winter just turn it on and it's it's hot straight away mains gas and very efficient and um, that's new within the last 18 months as well and um, see out through the uh, doors into the garden uh, if you wish okay. come back into the hall and we'll go this way first you can actually this all connects up in a sort of circle around the stairs so you can go either way I'll go this way first. Uh, it's quite large under stairs, uh, cupboard there for storage, and on the right hand side we've got the uh, click room, WC, and uh, sink. Again, that's all new within the last um, two years. Um, coming to the kitchen, kitchen was uh, renovated a year ago, almost exactly. Um, so on the floor we switch over to limes, hardware and limestone um, tiles. Um, We've got a um, few features in the kitchen, so we've got um, quite a lot of storage space. Um, so there's some, some innovative storage around, so hiding away uh, coffee machine and, and microwave, which is quite neat. Um, Freestanding fridge freezer space there. We also have a uh, built-in fridge, drinks fridge in the utility room. Uh, kitchen itself, we've got a built-in uh, extractor fan, gas hobs and a double cooker. Um, we've got uh, lighting in the uh, display cabinets as well as uh, dimble LEDs um, overhead. Um, coming across to Belfast sink and built-in dishwasher there um, with views over the field out the back which is something to take your mind off when you're doing the dishes. Um, that's very pleasant and then this was knocked through, this used to be two rooms but uh, a year ago when we did the renovation we, we knocked it through so there's a steel beam there um, and that just makes this space a lot better for entertaining freeze out makes it a lot lighter um, so it becomes the most popular room in the house when people come to visit uh, again uh, sort of looking out over the garden that way okay we'll come back through here and we'll go upstairs first of all um, we switch over to carpet on the stairs and, up, and on the upstairs floor um, that carpet's new in the last two years come here so um, Family bathroom first of all, so again this is all uh, about two years old, um, pretty brand new, so uh, everything you see has been newly fitted, redone, um, so freestanding sink, toilet, heated towel rail, um, got a bath and a shower with LED fittings in the shower head which is quite neat. Um, coming this way, we'll see we've got the airing cupboard. There's a new uh, hot water cylinder there fitted to the mains pressure. So you've got mains pressure hot water uh, rather than it being done from a tank in the loft. So that makes for really good showers. That's new about a year ago. Um, coming into the master bedroom, um, on the left hand side, we've got quite a lot of fitted wardrobe space with um, new doors that have been fitted there in the last year or so. And again, all the main bedrooms, uh, with the exception of the uh, small double. Uh, which is used as a nursery um, look over the back and uh, so it's got nice views over the field for when you wake up uh, 
come through here. This is the ensuite again. This has been totally ripped out and redone. Um, so we've got a heated uh, mirror there so it doesn't steam up with uh, lighting. It's got Bluetooth speakers and in it as well so you can play music while you're having a shower. And a shaver socket. A uh, really large sink, uh, toilet and uh, travertine tiles on the floor. Here this used to be a bath but we actually um, ripped it out and put in a, a double shower um, which is absolutely great. I saw it in a, a luxury hotel we stayed in once and we always wanted to have that so um, that's a really nice feature uh, to have and the water pressure is good enough for both of you to have a shower at the same time. Come back through here, I'll just uh, point out the light fitting. Um, all the light fittings in the house can come with the house if you're interested. Um, again, they're all new pretty much within the last couple of years. Um, we'll go through into the first guest double room. Um, this is normally used as a, as a double bedroom. It's been converted into a bit of a lockdown office for me uh, at the present time. Uh, and again, that same view over the back. Good size double. Uh, we've got the second guest double here, which is a little bit bigger, I think, than the other one. Um, unfortunately, it's got the dismantled beds in it, so you have to use your imagination a bit, but normally that's the other guest bedroom. And again, views over the garden. Um, that window, unfortunately, has gone in lockdown. It's got a bit of condensation, so we're getting that replaced in the next week or so. And this is the uh, small double or single, and I use it actually at the moment. That's our son's nursery. He's asleep, so I can't show it to you. Um, but pretty good size for a fourth bedroom. Um, big enough for large cot, changing table, chest of drawers, and all of the accoutrement that uh, the two year old boy needs. Come back downstairs now, and we'll head out to the utility room and garden. So into the utility room again, quite a lot of storage built in, uh, both above uh, and below, and built in sink, space for washing machine and tumble dryer, and that's the built in fridge which I talked about before, and then still further storage here as well, so it's absolutely loads of storage in this kitchen utility. Uh, that's where the boiler lives, tucked away in there, that's been serviced in the last six months. Uh, and we'll come out here. Turn left towards the garden. Mainly laid along the garden with uh, uh, vegetable boxes on the side here. And uh, I think you can probably hear it's incredibly quiet here. It's a really good location looking out over the fields. Um, yeah, really no noise at all. Come around here, that's the doors back into the lounge. There's a small shed just tucked around the corner there for storage and a uh, herb wheel. Uh, pretty well established there as well. I'll just for completeness, show you this way it takes us to the rear entrance to the garage and a uh, back gate which we don't use so much so recycling bins and that are tucked on the other side but that would bring us back to the front door of the house and that's it.